Hello, and welcome to Escrebeer Park. This is my avatar, David Hecht, who will help guide us through this brief tutorial on setting up a PowerPoint presentation in Second Life. In this video, which is part one of a two-part series, we will, one, understand the key differences between giving a PowerPoint in Second Life and giving one in real life. And those two differences are PowerPoint slides in Second Life cannot play animations unless you're giving a video PowerPoint. And two, you must use a lower slide resolution in Second Life because of the time it takes for each slide to res. Second, we will learn to configure a basic slide presenter for Second Life. Third, to compress PowerPoint slides into individual pictures suitable for viewing in Second Life. Fourth, to upload slides as textures into a Second Life inventory. Fifth, to transfer PowerPoint slides from inventory into a Second Life slide presenter. And last, to build a basic stand on which to sit the PowerPoint presenter. Okay, let's get started. If you don't have a PowerPoint presenter in your inventory, I recommend that you begin with something inexpensive and basic until you learn what your needs are. Then, by all means, invest in one of the outstanding slide presenters with all the bells and whistles that you need. My recommendation for an inexpensive slide presenter is Emaculate's Slideshow Viewer available for 235 linden, which is about $1. To purchase a copy of this viewer, teleport to Immaculate Store in Four Mile Region. The store's coordinates are 46, 54, 152, and the slurl for your web browser is on your screen now. To make your purchase, left-click, touch, the version that you want, and then click the Buy button at the bottom of the info box, and then click OK. The slide viewer will be added automatically to your inventory. Teleport back to where you will be using your slide viewer. You will then find your new slide viewer in your inventory as a box. Drag that box to your land and then right-click it for the Pi menu, then Open. After confirming you have the correct contents, click on the Copy to Inventory button down at the bottom. Now you're ready to res in your PowerPoint slide presenter for the first time. Locate it in your inventory, then left click and drag it to the approximate place where you will use it, and let it res in. Now to prepare your presenter, do the following in whatever order you wish. First, align it to the desired grid settings by typing in the XYZ coordinates underneath the Object tab. Next, click on the Textures tab and turn on Full Bright. That function will give your slides their best visibility. Three, under the Content tab, delete the placeholder files that you see there, being careful not to delete anything else but the three files with a square RGB color palette icon, which is how textures are identified in Second Life. Now the last thing you want to do is to add your own slides to the presenter. To add your own slides, if you haven't already, the first thing you'll need to do is to open your original PowerPoint presentation Go to Save As and save it in a JPEG, PNG, or bitmap format. JPEG is a good all-purpose format and it will render each slide into an individual picture and then number those slides sequentially, which you see happening here. Now the next thing you want to do is to use one of the photo manipulation programs that came with your computer to resize or compress each slide down to a web version of that slide.
For example, if you have Microsoft Office installed, then you will have a copy of this program, Microsoft Office Picture Manager. Simply open the slide in Picture Manager, click on Edit, then Compress. The compression you want is Web. Compress that picture, then resave it. This step will reduce your slide size down to about 20K. Next, make sure all of your slides are in the correct numbered sequence. Because slides in Second Life are recognized first alphabetically, that's why they all have the same first name, and then by number. So if you want to add any descriptive info to a slide name, that info must come after the slide's number. Now you're ready to use Second Life's Bulk Uploader to upload your slides. Click on File, Bulk Upload, then use the Browse function to select all of the slides for your presentation. Click Open, and you will see Second Life upload your slides one at a time. Once they are resed in, simply close the thumbnails that you see, and the slides can be found in the texture folder of your inventory. Once you have located those slides, select them all, then left click and drag them to the viewer's content folder. The slides will line themselves up automatically in order, and you are now ready to present them using the forward and back arrows in your slide presenter. You can make a stand for your PowerPoint presenter quickly and easily. Click on Build at the bottom of your viewer and then select the Cube Prim and res it in with your wand. In the Edit window, enter the same length and depth sizes as your viewer. This one is X, 4 meters, Y, 0.184 meters, and Z, 0 0.632. To align the stand with the viewer, make sure both have the same XY coordinates. For example, here the X coordinate of the viewer is 149.706, and we go to the stand and apply that same coordinate, 149.706. For the Y coordinate, we go up to the viewer, we see that coordinate is 147.871, and then we apply that same coordinate to our stand. Adjust the height for however high you wish that viewer and that stand to line up. Next, select the Texture tab in the Edit window and apply whatever texture or color you desire. Since we're in a wooden environment, we're going to apply Old Wood. OK, looks good. If you'd like, go now to part two of this video series to learn how to position your avatar and to use voice chat and lip sync to give your PowerPoint live in Second Life.